Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the Transmart Air Mouse and Keyboard, which is a very dinky little um, tool you can use with your Android TV box or whatever. It works 2.4G wireless and it's very, very cool actually. Very useful. Let's have a look. So inside the box we've got the unit itself plus a little micro USB charge cable the 2.4 gigahertz micro dongle they're so cute and the actual air mouse come keyboard itself oh and a very very sparse user manual or user guide or whatever what you've basically got with the unit is right mouse button left mouse button home enter and navigation and on the reverse side you've got a standard qwerty keyboard very small as you can see but definitely small enough uh, you know useful enough to do typing and stuff when you need to instead of laboriously having to point with your pointer on screen caps lock control auto in full back key and delete it's very very well designed M um, volume up and down micro usb charge point and a power button which is designed to switch off the tv box i mean obviously this is geared for the transmart so it'll switch the transmart off or at least start the process and that's it so let's see how it works actually in real life not sure if you can see that but what you need to do first of course is to plug the little micro dongle into the uh, port usb port of the uh, tv box once you've done that just switch on the box and you're good to go now, there are a number of things to know about this. First of all, as you can probably see, it automatically switches into air mouse mode, if you can see the cursor on the screen, when you hold it this way up. So it has uh, an orientation ability, which is quite cool. But one of the things you have to learn about it, and it just takes a little bit of time, is that it doesn't necessarily mean that when you press the enter key, that you're going to access the uh, execute. The execute is actually done through these little buttons at the bottom here. They sort of double up as back and execute keys. So the right mouse button here will take me into settings when I point at it and press, and this right hand button will take me back out. So the, it, the icons on the buttons are kind of close, but almost not, because the left, right mouse button is back rather than um, just right mouse button. But once you get used to that kind of um, situation, then it's quite easy to use. So you're using basically the navigation parts of the of the remote when you're in navigation mode and the executed uh, when you're actually in a, a navigation area. For the rest of the time, you're going to be pointing and using this right mouse button, this left mouse button. Sorry, I should say. And so, for instance, you can see I can cycle down here using these directions and push in there to get the enter to get access. So you see it's, it's, it has this, its own slightly different operation to a, a standard a standard air mouse but actually once you get used to it it's not so bad. And if you use the home key you get straight out all the way back to home just like that which is quite cool. Now the second thing is of course when you turn it over let me just get into a browser whoops let me get, select the right browser and i select if you can see that the i'm up there now i can turn over and it goes automatically into a keyboard mode so if you look at the top you'll see that pressing the backspace is taking me back. So it automatically does that for you. You don't have to worry about it, which is quite cool. So, you know, you can then start to use it as a full blown keyboard, which is very fast. Let me just do that again, because <laughs> I don't think you saw that. Let me just get it in there again. So turn it over. And when you've turned it over, you can just use it as a standard keyboard which is very, very cool. And just the enter key there and you'll get into, there you go. It runs off a rechargeable battery, so you have to recharge it through the micro USB slot here. This is for volume up and down. 
And then if you can see again, volume going up and down at the top. Yeah, of course, I'm using a, trans, a Transmart box, so maybe I'm not sure this is compatible with all TV boxes, but it should be with Android if they're standard. And this top button here is the power button, which turns, uh, starts the process for turning off the actual box itself. So if I press and hold it for a number of seconds, we should see, there we go, the um, power off come up. And then if I can go back, I can take it out by hitting the the back key here and that's it really i mean the only thing i the only thing i think they could do with improving it or would help to improve it is putting making this this little bit at the top here uh, bottom here a trackpad which is quite cool <laughs> but you know hey that's being really 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 demanding i like it a lot it's uh, it has a, the perfect combination of, of a very useful little keyboard and an air mouse so there you go, the Tronsmart Air Mouse and Micro Keyboard. As usual, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel so we can bring you more cool stuff. Thanks very much.